This is a film which explains how to use Kitaro Complex Lab. Kitaro Complex Lab is the tool for the intermediate surgeons to practice many kinds of complex cases in cataract surgery. Manual ECCE Settings of Kitaro Take the case of 6 cataract lens for ECCE from the aluminum pack. Take one lens from it. Put the cataract lens in the scleral part for ECCE as the arrows of both parts come to meet in the same direction. Place the cornea iris part for ECCE onto the scleral part as the red and blue points of both parts align with each other. Take the scleral sheet, detach the paper on it, and stick it between the rear side of the scleral part and the cornea iris part. Take the scleral corneal sheet for ECCE. Detach the paper on it and stick it strongly onto the scleral part and cornea iris part as the green points of scleral corneal sheet and cornea iris parts overlap each other. Place this eyeball part on the right side. Left side is deep set eye of the base plate with an eye tilt fixation device. Then cover it with the mask. Instructions for practice. It is better to use a control suture at the lower part of the scleral corneal sheet for ECCE. Pull the control suture or hold the scleral corneal sheet with forceps to tilt the eyeball in the opposite direction and make the incision with a 30 degrees knife. Make 9 to 10 millimeter tunnel incision for self-sealing ECCE and 10 to 14 millimeter limbal incision for conventional ECCE. Slightly wider incision than human eye is necessary because the eyeball of Kitaro is little bigger. Make a large CCC after injecting viscoelastic. Make an internal incision with a slit knife. Move the blade diagonally in the upward direction to come out in the performed resected area of the cornea part. Put the viscoelastic and prolapse the nucleus from the CCC with the double hook method or visco needle. At the time of nucleus extraction, tilt the eyeball in the opposite direction with a forceps or control suture. You can practice all kind of nuclear extraction techniques except compression technique because Kitaro has no vitreous. Also you can practice IOL insertion and suture. Posterior capsule tear management. Setting up Kitaro. Take the case of six cataract lenses for posterior capsule tear management from the aluminum pack. Take one lens from it. Put this lens in the hollow of the scleral part. Fix the cornea iris part for 
posterior capsule tear management firmly onto it. Lay the non-slip mats under and on the drainage box. Place the base plate with eye tilt fixation devices on it. Place the eyeball part on the iron ball of the right eye. Left is deep set. Make sure the soft part of the sclero faces towards you. Then cover it with the mask. Instructions for practice. Incision for phaco surgery must be made in the cornea part just above the soft part of the sclera. If incision is made too low, nucleus extraction would be difficult. At one particular period of emulsification aspiration of the nucleus, the recommended period is when the first quarter of the nucleus is emulsified and aspirated after the nucleus is divided into two. Create a relatively wide posterior capsule tear by emitting U.S. power and poking the posterior capsule. Insert the U.S. tip deeper. Catch vitreous fibers at the aspiration hole by sucking and pull them out to the outer part of the eye. If the vitreous fibers cannot be brought out to the anterior chamber and outer part of the eye, insert Stinsky hook deeply into the vitreous cavity through posterior capsule tear. Catch the vitreous fibers and bring them out to the outer part of the eye. Apply sponge to the wound, stick the vitreous fibers, and cut them with scissors. The artificial Vitreous fibers will not stick to the sponge like in clinical surgery. Next, return the vitreous fibers into the eye by horizontal swing motion using a spatula inserted through a side port. Widen the incision according to the size of the remaining nucleus in one plane. Remove relatively small fragments by visco extraction using a viscoelastic injection needle. Thick needle is necessary for pushing down the eyeball wall. The needle which you see now is too thin. Remove relatively large fragments, which is half the size of the nucleus, using irrigation vectus. Remove epinucleus and large cortex by visco extraction after detaching them from the capsule by performing visco dissection. Perform vitrectomy using avit cutter. Vitreous fibers can be seen in kitaro and therefore good quality practice can be performed. Remove cortex adhering to the capsule using Simcoe cannula or avit cutter in the aspiration mode.